NBC 15 Sports. The last few years have been, you know, I've uh, been really contemplating uh, re resigning. I just felt like after this year that it, this was the time. After telling his Monona Grove players last night that he would not be their head coach next season, Mike Stasi spent much of today fielding calls, emails, and text messages from former students, friends, and even rival coaches congratulating the Silver Eagles head coach since 1999 on his career and his decision to hang up his whistle at the age of 54. Hobie Artigue has more on the end of an era at MG. After 141 wins, nine Badger South titles, and a Division III state football championship, Monona Grove head coach Mike Stasi has decided to call it a career. I don't know if there's ever really a good time. You want to make sure when you make a decision like this, and, and uh, it's a little bit bittersweet, it all comes down to a field thing, and I just know right now it's, it's my time to go. The 54-year-old Stasi has been a Monona Grove standout since he played for MG in the late 70s. And that time he spent on the field is partially what drove him to the sidelines as a coach for his alma mater. To get the opportunity to come back here and coach was just uh, an unbelievable thing. Just the great, the great kids that you get the chance to coach. And thank you for the things that, uh, you know, you're able to do. Just like the guys like Dick Rundle were able to do for us. Along with his team's accomplishments at MG, Stasi has had his fair share of individual success too, winning the WFCA Packers Head Coach of the Year in 2013. I share this with all my coaches all in back at Monona Grove because they all have done such a great job to get our program to where it is. Stasi also helped mold NFL talent as well, coaching current pro Gabe Karimi in high school. It's not one, but all of the players that stand out to Stasi during his time with the Silver Eagles, hoping his tenure at MG made a difference somewhere along the way. Whether it's me or, or not my impact, uh, as long as it is an impact. And I remember Dick telling us back in the 70s when I played, uh, you'll learn more about yourself on this football field than you ever will in any of those classrooms. I hope football was a big part of their lives and that helped shape and mold them into the men they want to be. Thank you, Hobie, and Silver Eagles fans won't forget that 2013 state title.